We name everything, babies, streets, neighborhoods, and buildings. But what is in a name? Names are very important. If we think about culturally, politically, socially, how names end up defining us and our environment. What is your name? Uhuru. What does that mean? It means freedom. And again, names are important, so they define us. And in a lot of ways, you know, my name connects me to my cultural heritage. To rob me of my name in, in a lot of ways would be to rob me of my identity. At the same time, when we talk about shared space, uh, the spaces that we all come together in, those names become equally important because they have to have meaning for all who are partaking in that space, and they should be affirmative of everyone who uses that space. Williams is a professor of history and dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of St. Thomas. He's watched the debate linked to changing the name of Lake Calhoun and buildings at the University of Minnesota. This naming becomes very slippery and very difficult to navigate. How do we move past this big fight? It's gonna be very hard because ultimately at the end of the day, this is a question about historical consciousness and a question of politics. Politics ultimately decides who gets what. And so if those who wanna rename the lake win, then it's gonna be feel like a loss for those who feel like this lake has significance for them. But if you don't accept the fact that a community at a various time should have a right to redefine itself, like every couple of years, if a community wants to come together and say, we wanna reimagine who we are to live our values as we see ourselves today, that's important. You have to create a space for that. How do we keep that history intact? It may be a dark piece of history, but it is part of the fabric that makes America what it is. That's very true, and I think part of the, there should be some metric to decide what you maintain and what you get rid of. It's not a question that everything should be changed carte blanche, but you should think about the kind of big pieces and how you can affirm, um, you know, recognize that history. Tuesday, a proposal to rename one of five state parks on the St. Croix River after former Vice President Walter Mondale was dropped this desire to maintain the history and connection to a, a specific place that may not be politically charged or historically charged for one group, but which is for another. There are other ways to do that, placards, markers, memorials that commemorate the name change or commemorate that space for both groups who are coming there and who want to utilize it. But ultimately, it's facing our history that's governing a lot of this conversation. Well, as far as the amendment in the Minnesota House to keep the name Bidet McCoska, it did pass. However, the Senate is unlikely to pass it.